Hello, Katya here and uh, welcome to this tutorial. I will show you uh, what I can you can do with the liquid acrylic paint. Yes, I will show you four different ways how you can use it. I also on my table I have some liquid acrylic sparks and the blending solution some stencils and uh, different kind of paper, copying paper, more heavy paper, some um, note paper. And I will play with the liquid acrylic paint on my jelly plate. Yes, um, I like to make experience and to make different surfaces and patterns. And here I have uh, some paint, the emerald, and I'm tapping around and first I was playing, uh, uh, I was spraying some water. I have the emerald and the deep turquoise here. I like that mix. Uh, it's really get a nice combination. Um, yeah, I adding more water and I know now you see how much water I have on my plate so it will really have a watercolor effect. Uh, there are still some uh, paint on my yellow plate uh, so I add a little bit ink uh, black and um, go around with my uh, roller and uh, having some paper and now you can see there is not so much water left oh really nice pattern what do you think yes this indeed you can use uh, in the background of your layouts canvases art journals card making anything you like so i will try out some more the deep turquoise and the emerald will go again and I go carefully and I also like to test the white one. I'm trying to do some splatters and uh, adding a little bit of water and uh, you see I go with the brush and I get a more pastel color. Um, yeah. And trying out on a regular copying paper. And I can see it's so much water on, but really nice pattern. But still, a lot of paint left on my yellow plate. And I want it to be more uh, soft shade, so I'm adding. Uh, some uh, of the blending um, solution and you see I'm taking off a little bit on the paint on the paper aside so you don't need so much uh, color on this technique and I'm not uh, looking for a regular pattern or color this is to have uh, like a background or something for a project. Um, that's why I'm trying to find uh, some paper that I can use in my journal uh, in different projects because I think, oh, that's gorgeous, the black and the teal, yeah. And uh, I have a really nice pattern. So I have them on my table to, they will dry up. Uh, spraying some water again and some teal. I'm not giving up. I will do some more experience. Not so much uh, color now. I only have a little bit color. Uh, more you see, ah, oh, that's more uh, nice and not so much. Uh, it 
was really nice pattern and I'm thinking some of the papers that I do pattern on, I can do it uh, once more on them. Now I'm having um, more color. I have a bit of brown, the burnt sienna. And you see I'm going a little bit here and there to make a little bit. And here I'm doing on the back side and I'm doing here with the brayer. And that's because you can use the both sides. Oh, that's also a nice pattern. Oh, I really, really like it. Brown and bluish color. Yes, very different, but uh, no plan at all. So we go on with some emerald and I go with the brayer adding some uh, of the teal only a little bit and uh, being carefully not too much doing a few few drops and you see I go with the brayer on the paper and here I have a little bit black and I don't do it too much because it's only will it gets very very blurry. Here I have a stencil, honeycomb stencil and uh, have a but uh, I don't know gel paper I don't know the name of it and uh, I'm looking for what this pattern what will come now. So I have this music note paper um, more vintage so I was not really happy with it so I go on adding some water and uh, more brown burnt sienna and um, I'm sure you can do this on your way I only show you my way and how I have some leftover time and doing some experience to mix and match some color and to test different papers. Ah, oh, that's really nice. Uh, so trying different color combination, different papers um, and see how much water I can add. Ah, this is really a test to see if I can do something. Now I have some um, paint left on my jelly plate and I'm adding a white heavy gesso. You can have white acrylic paint also. Uh, be sure to not be too heavy paint so it's not uh, getting dry too fast. So I'm having a full cover coat on my plate. I leave it to dry a little bit and now I'm lifting up the leftovers on my jelly plate. There was a thin coat of color and the white gesso, it helps uh, to lift up the, the rest of the paint on my plate. So. I have only a little bit paint left and I'm cleaning. I'm using a baby wipe to clean it. Okay, new test. The burnt sienna. It's my favorite brown color. Yes, it's so incredible. And my brush a little bit dirty. Um, I don't think it's a problem. It's uh, fun to play around. I also now have a little bit of the tiger orange and I think the tiger orange and the burnt sienna it's also a perfect match and some uh, sprays and a new paper and you can see a lot of water and a gorgeous uh, vintage pattern. 
some sprays again and is still having color on my brush and I will add a little bit more color and here you see I had a little bit of the black so you see me playing around and you can do many different way and in different colors that's only what kind of uh, effect you like but I have a thing for brown and uh, to lighten up a little bit I use the tiger orange because I think it will be a, like a fall inspired project um, because I haven't decided and you see I was printing like a two layer uh, paper and here also I take the ne next layer of one print and doing one. Oh that's gorgeous. You see two layers and not too much uh, water on them so you can create your own pattern. So here I go again. Oops, and a really dirty brush. So I have like a green yellow color. I don't mind. And now I add a stencil again. And like before, it's not the pattern here. I'm so interested because I want to lift up the pattern. I can use that in a next step. Uh, what's important uh, fun now is this step. So here I do one more pattern and uh, that's more interesting to do something with something in the future with it. Okay, so I have amber color. It's a more lighted version with a little bit green from the burnt sienna and uh, with the tiger orange so I try to mix some colors and to see what I can do with it and careful with the brayer and tapping around and yeah adding the same paper to add a second layer and to see if the music note can get the different shade I leave them for drying Okay, some water, brayer, and still there are a lot of uh, color. And using the other paper again, a lot of water, but it's a good way to pick up uh, uh, the color what's left. Mm. This one I really like, so I'm picking up one more layer here. And to see if because it was a little bit lighted. Ah, oh, that's nice. So here I go playing and playing and testing and using the liquid acrylic paint from Finabair on the jelly plate. Don't use too much water and the the paints are, have a lot of um, pigments so you don't need too much uh, of the color and uh, it's a fun way to make uh, like a, a smooshing technique on the jelly plate. So I am excited to see what of uh, the papers, which one I will use for my uh, journal pages, I'm thinking. We can see if I find some of them that I like. Oh, that was the perfect one. I really adore that one. So a little bit of the teal going with my brush a little bit water and playing with uh, the brayer. I want to add 
a little bit of the uh, the acrylic sparks. It's uh, acrylic paint, metallic with a lot of mica powder. And I'm adding a little bit. And you almost now when I have used the braid, it doesn't show. And I'm doing, I want to do one that perhaps matches. Oh, that's nice. Uh, and the color is perfect, exactly the shade that I want. And I'm tapping more water and uh, adding more of the sparks because I really like the effect that it's a little bit contrast color and uh, it's have a little bit uh, glitter. The mica powder gets a gorgeous effect. Ah, oh, that's lovely. I really love that one. So I'm thinking I'm ready to do something with them. Yes, all my papers have been dried up and I have my journal from Finn. And um, my papers have been dried up and I have found my two favorites in the pile of different papers. I'm sure I will use the paper in some other project. But now I have shoes. Uh, the two last one. I was really happy with them, with the teal, a little bit grayish and the sparks. And now I have a bunch of uh, stamp sets from Finnebar. I will I start with uh, some stamps from the beautiful story stamps from Finn, and I stamping randomly here and there. I want to add a little bit more interest and texture to my background, and I had so fun just playing. Uh, with colors and the jelly plate. Oh, it was so fun. Be sure to try it out. And you see me stamping randomly with different stamps. Uh, I'm trying to thinking where I want to have my composition. Uh, I was uh, giving uh, paint uh, on old paper so we get a little bit more of the brownish and amber so I will glue it with a soft gloss gel uh, like a decoupage technique and uh, I'm sure to glue under the paper and also on the upper side so I'm sure it will stick so here I have added uh, some contrast to my page and suddenly it uh, gives uh, more interest. I have uh, some washi tape. I try to do layering on my art journal page. And uh, sometimes you can help the washi tape to also use some medium under and over. So you will be sure when it's dry, it will stay there. So uh, here I have uh, some different uh, layers. And to make even more interest, I'm using uh, stamps again from the beautiful uh, set. Yep, and all stamps I'm using, they are from Finnebar. Uh, she has many stamp sets, um, different in the Arcade Daily Collection and the Prima. Here I have some white heavy gesso, and I have a honeycomb stencil, and I wanted to give like cloudy effect. So I'm tapping here and there with the gesso also to give more interest uh, to the background. And um, in the same time, 
because I'm using white to not uh, uh, leave it too busy. And here, to give more interest, I have a black pen. And of course, uh, I have been drying. I have been drying the uh, stencil with the white gesso before I use my pen. And here I have a 3D matte gel. So this is the th uh, one other way to do what you can do with uh, the liquid. So I'm doing a colorful paste with 3D matte gel. Uh, brown and tiger orange and I also add some glitter in my paste so I blend it and when I'm happy I have my own gel if you have too much color uh, the gel will be will not work in a stencil so I think that's what makes it so perfect with the liquid acrylic that because it's so high pigmented you can use it uh, blend it with the uh, pastes so here I have made my own paste with the liquid acrylic paint so it show you that you can use paints and things on a new different way okay now i have a really uh, busy background on some places and really soft on some i have the car postal stamp set and it has some gorgeous numbers so i'm stamping these numbers randomly here and there uh, to make different shapes and you see I'm um, stamping nearby where I have been working before to leave some spaces uh, free. Here I have some wild and free stamp sets, some wonderful um, birds and uh, flower sets and uh, butterflies. I am uh, do some embossing with them. So here, uh, when they are dried, I am doing some cutouts. And now come the third way, how I will use the liquid acrylic paint. I simply use a little bit paint uh, and a little bit of water and I'm painting my cutouts. And here I don't paint with perfection. Uh, just to give them a little bit color. So, having so fun to use the same paint but in different ways. And I will show you even one more. My cutouts, I uh, uh, add them on some foam tape so they will um, so it will be a little bit depth and you see me i'm adding them where i have my clusters where i have my busy places so i'm really happy now i have a little bit left when i was painting my birds uh, i have a little bit leftovers with the burnt sienna and yes, I do some splattering over. And so fun playing with the same uh, acrylic paint, but on different ways. And here you see me using the same paint, but on four different ways. Aren't that just uh, so fun and so amazing? I think so. And my art journal pages start to getting ready. Now I'm looking uh, after some metallic embellishment and I'm deciding to have the mini Roman numerals. And why do I add metallics? Mm, I think 
I all, always want to add something that is not painted that give an, um, an another texture. It can be fabric, metallic, glass or something else that you haven't painted, that you haven't, that you leave it natural. I think that gives some extra effect. Now I'm adding my sentiments and um, my art journal pages start to get uh, getting ready. And I hope you have been staying here and uh, watching my process. And today I have a little bit more longer video. And be sure if you like to give the thumbs up and um, let me know what you think. I would be so happy if you subscribe, leave a comment and uh, I hope to see you soon again. See you and see you soon again in the next tutorial. Have a nice day. See you. Bye bye.